In this video, we're going to use the quadratic formula to solve quadratic equations. What is the quadratic formula? Well, this is the quadratic formula here, which is given in your formula list, where a is the coefficient of x squared, b is the coefficient of x, and c is the constant term. So let's look at this example. So a is the coefficient of x squared, so in that case, a is 3. b is the coefficient of x, so b is equal to 8. And c is the constant term, so c is equal to 2. I would then write out the formula. And as this is a um, formula question, the next line would be sub in your values. So it's minus b plus or minus the square root of a squared minus 4 times uh, a is 3 times 2. Extend my square root all over 2 times 3. Now I would do all the multiplying and the powers, so we're going to get minus 8 plus or minus the square root of 40 all over 6. Now this plus or minus means we're going to get two roots, one where we're going to have a plus and one we're going to have a minus. So if I write those out separately, you're going to get x is equal to minus 8 plus the square root of 40 over 6, or minus 8 minus the square root of 40 over 6. Now, put those into my calculator, remembering either to use your fraction button or to put brackets round the top line. And if I do that, you're going to get minus 0 0.27924 for the first one, and the second one is negative 2.3874. And if I want that to two decimal places, as the question's asked, I'm going to get negative, two point, uh, sorry, negative 0 0.28 and negative 2.39. Right, let's look at this second example. First, I'm going to find out what my a, b, and c are. So a is the um, coefficient of x squared, so that's 3. b is the coefficient of, negative, of x, which is negative 4. And c is the constant term, which is negative 1. Next, I would write out my formula. There it is. And then I'd put my values in. So x is going to be equal to minus, minus 4, plus or minus the square root of b squared. So that's minus 4 squared, minus 4 times, one, times a, which is 3, times c, which is negative 1. So put a bracket around those, so I'm careful. And that's all over 2 times 3, as a is 3. So... Let's sort this out a little bit. Uh, negative negative 4 is 4, plus or minus. And if I put all of that into calculator, remember to put my brackets in, then I'm going to get uh, 16 add 12, which is 28, all over 6. Now, as before, the plus or minus means I've got two different roots. I've got x is equal to 4 plus root 28, over 6, and I've got x is equal to 4 minus root 28 over 6. Put those into my calculator. Remember to use brackets if I need to. You're going to get 1.54858, etc. And you're going to get negative 2.2152, etc. And to, if I was to do these to two decimal places, as the question is asked, 1.55 and negative 0 0.22. 